Hi, I'm Merlin Archery's Grizzly Jim, and with Christmas literally just around the corner, uh, I thought we would take a look at this, and this is the First Shot Archery Kit, which is probably going to be a lot of people's first step uh, into the world of archery. So without further ado, let's uh, crack open this package and uh, see what you get inside. Yeah. 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 Okay, so once you've got all the bits and bobs out of the uh, the various bits of packaging, you should have something like this, which is the uh, the riser or the handle section, uh, your limbs, your arrow rests and knocking point, uh, your arrows, uh, your string, your stringer, your bow bag, and your quiver, uh, as well as a target. So that should be everything you need to get uh, to get shooting and start taking your first steps into what we hope is going to be a lifetime of uh, of archery. So um, let's look at putting the bow together first. Uh, first off, you're going to need this, which is obviously the, the riser section or, or the handle of the bow. Now, you've got these, uh, which are the limbs, which uh, screw into the bow, uh, which make up the, uh, the recurve. Now, if you look at um, this limb here, there is some information written on the bottom. Uh, now, that is your bottom limb. As long as that information is the correct way around in the bottom limb, then it's in the right place. So you just pop that in there like that. Now I have seen uh, a lot of people uh, make the mistake of putting the limb in uh, that way. That is actually the wrong way to do it. That's, uh, you're gonna cause yourself all sorts of problems if, uh, if your limbs sort of put in that way. So make sure your limb tips are pointing towards the target or whatever it is you're, you're, you're shooting at. Uh, and then when you put the string on it, it sort of uh, comes into that lovely recurve shape. Uh, but yeah, make sure those limb tips are pointing to, to what it is uh, that you're trying to shoot. And then you know your limbs are in the right way. Then you get your little bolt here, pop that in the top and just give that a little screw in. Now you want it to be nice and tight. You don't want to over tighten it. Uh, with archery, you never want to over tighten anything. You always want everything snug, but you don't want to over crank it and make it too tight. So um, so that's in there nice and snug. And you do exactly the same with the uh, top limb like that. Just drop that in there and screw that together. And that's as simple as it is. That's as simple as putting the bow together. Um, it's probably as simple as you can get it. The next thing we're gonna need to do is pop on the arrow rest. Now you may have noticed that there is a hole uh, in the bow here. Now that's uh, it, it's a threaded hole. That is for a pressure button. You don't need to worry about a pressure button just yet. Uh, we're gonna keep things nice and simple. Maybe when you've been shooting a little while and you wanna uh, sort of go up to the next step, then we can look at pressure buttons. But right now we're gonna keep that real basic and we're gonna use a very simple uh, plastic arrow rest. Uh, and all it is just a molded piece of plastic and uh, you get a, you get a couple of spares so don't worry I mean being plastic they will eventually wear out but don't worry too much um, it comes with an, a little adhesive pad so you want to make sure that that adhesive pad sticks onto that arrow rest so just peel that off and stick that on there like that and you can pop that little piece out through the middle that's where your pressure button would go if we were using one but we're not using one so don't worry <laughs> and then it's just a case of peeling off that adhesive there and you've got your sticky bit there so if you marry up that hole with the hole in the uh, in the riser that's going to be roughly in the right position so if we just pop that over there like that now that is your arrow rest fitted now that is the bow pretty much um sort of 90 percent set up the next thing we need to do is pop the string on now this is just a very simple tip to tip bow stringer it's very similar to some of the other bows uh, or the bow stringers that we've looked at in the past uh, i quite like these because they put an even bend in the bow unlike uh the, the bow stringers with the saddle they tend to put sort of more uh more pressure on one limb than the other. So these just uh, give you a nice even uh, even bend in the bow. So uh, without further ado, let's look at how to uh, put your string on your bow with one of these. First thing you're going to need is the string. Now all bow strings uh, generally come with uh, one big string loop and one little string loop. The big string loop always goes off the, uh, at the top of the bow. The little string loop always goes at the bottom. Now I'm using a, a traditional bow here, just a, a, a long bow or a, a flat bow, but the principle is exactly the same whatever bow you use. So you put the, um, the big string loop over the top and you get your little string loop and hook that over the bottom. And that is as simple as it gets. That's uh, the first step done. Now we need to pick up the stringer again in order to put the string on the bow. Now you get one of your little uh, pockets uh, here and attach that just onto the bottom 
limb tip. That should fit on there nice and securely. And then you feed that through and pop that onto the top string loop like that. Now, if you hold the string with your finger there, just keeps that out of the way. You, all you need to do is step onto that um, bit of the stringer there. If you're having trouble lifting it up, if the poundage is too much or if you find it's coming up too high, feel free to just use another foot. That just uh, takes the pressure off a bit, makes it a little bit easier to pull up. And it's just simply a case of pulling steadily and evenly up from the middle of the bow whilst pushing your string into the string groove like that and then coming down. Also, just make sure just before you go out shooting that your uh, string is situated fully in the string groove so that's uh, not going anywhere, that's just, to be, uh, just to be safe. Simple as that, that is your, uh, your bow strung using a tip to tip bow stringer. Uh, it's exactly the same principle but reversed to take your string off again. So you pop one little pocket on the top, another one on the bottom and it's just a case of standing on that string again, lifting evenly and lifting that uh, string off the groove and coming back down again and away you go. So that is how to string a bow using a tip to tip bow stringer. Okay, so that is your recurve uh, setup. All that's left to do is to pop your knocking points on there. Now, this bow actually comes, or this package actually comes with two very small brass knocking points like that. Now, uh, you pop these on with a, a pair of pliers, you just crimp them onto the string and they uh, generally uh, stay there. But you don't have to use brass knocking points, you can tie in a knocking point with um, some dental floss or uh, some thread. It really is up to you, I mean that's the beauty of archery, it's all about finding what, what works for you. Now if you click on a video that's above my head, there should be two videos up there. One showing you uh, how to um, put on a knocking point. The other video is a very in-depth uh, video on how to set up an Olympic style recurve. Uh, it goes into far more depth, uh, in-depth um, discussion than, than what we're looking at uh, with this kit but uh, you might find that interesting and you should pick up a few tips uh, from there. So feel free to click on those at uh, your convenience and uh, find out a little bit more about uh, the uh, recurve bow. But let's look at what else you get in this kit, which is probably gonna be potentially the most important thing uh, you'll get, and that is your finger tab and arm guard. Now, what they do, is the arm guard just sits on your bow arm. So whichever bow you, uh, whichever hand you hold the bow in, the, um, the arm guard will go on that hand and it's just a very simple velcro strap and it just sits on the arm there and that just protects your arm or your forearm from a string buzz or string slap um, as you uh, as you let go of the string sometimes the string can uh, can hit you on the arm and it can be quite painful it can you know give you nasty bruise can even draw blood sometimes so it's very important to uh, keep your arm guard on there that's going to keep you nice and safe and it's going to keep your arm uh, bruise free so I would always recommend using an arm guard when uh, out shooting the next important thing we're going to look at is the finger tab. Now that just sits on your fingers. Now if you hold it like that and drop your two middle fingers of your right hand, if you're a right-handed archer, into those two holes, uh, and that just that just uh, protects your fingers while uh, while shooting. It just sits on the the string. Um, flip that around there. It just sits on the string like that it just protects your fingers from the string yeah one or two shots isn't really going to give you uh, uh, too much trouble at all but if you're out shooting uh, for a long time you're going to get blisters your fingers are going to get very sore so a finger tab uh, helps protect against that so it makes it a lot more comfortable uh, to shoot so I would always recommend using either a glove or a finger tab and definitely an arm guard uh, it's going to keep you uh, nice and safe and a little bit more protected when you're uh, out shooting now the other things uh, that you're going to get with this package are the arrows. Now it comes with five of these uh, fiberglass arrows, these are called star arrows. Now these are very good quality uh, fiberglass arrows actually. When I first picked them up I, I assumed they were carbon. Uh, they seem really uh, really great, really tough um, fiberglass arrows. So you want a tough arrow when you're first starting out because you, you're going to take misses, you're going to hit target stands and all, all manner of things and take misses and hit stones so hopefully these will be a little bit tougher than some of the other um, other uh, arrows that you're going to be able to uh, get hold of in some other kits so yeah you've got a nice tough uh, arrow there that's hopefully going to last you a good long while you get five of those you get a bow bag to uh, so you can break everything down and pop it in keep it nice and safe so you can travel around with it and uh, take it to your club or or wherever you're going shooting um, you get a nice little quiver that's uh, got a nice little hook 
on there which just hooks on your pocket or your belt loop or, or wherever you want to uh, hook it. It's a nice three tube quiver. Now, depending on what kit you get, I believe if you go for a smaller version of this kit, you actually might get a slightly smaller uh, quiver. Uh, it's pretty much the same sort of thing, but it's it's um, it's a two tube instead of a, a, a three tube quiver, uh, but it's still uh, very similar. But like anything with the uh, with this kit, you there may be slight variations, but this is a good overview of, of what you're going to get in those kits. Um, last but not least, you're going to get a nice big foam target uh, for you to uh, to shoot at and now this it's a fantastic sort of entry level target it's not going to stop high end sort of uh, very powerful bows compound bows and uh, uh, and the like but it will it's perfect for this kind of archery it's going to stop your arrows uh, you can pop it in the garden it's really easy to move around uh, you're gonna have a lot of fun uh, shooting that um, it comes with uh, comes with a nice bright uh, target face and some target pins that you just pin it to so it gives you something to aim at uh, so yeah you'll have a lot of fun with that but with any archery it's important to observe a, a sort of a common sense uh, attitude when it comes to safety please never point your bow at anything living um, only point it at the target um, you can have archery is one of the most fun things you can do but it can be it can be very dangerous, so please be careful when you're out shooting. Don't be silly, don't point it at anything alive, <laughs> and you will have a lot of fun. You'll have many years of fun, and hopefully this um, this uh, this kit is, is many people's sort of first taste uh, of archery. So yeah, hopefully you'll have some fun with that. I hope you found this useful, uh, looking at this, uh, just, just a brief look at this kit really. Um, we haven't done anything too fancy, but yeah, just to give you an idea of what you get in the box uh, when you pick up your first, uh, your first shot archery kit. So I hope you found that interesting. You take care and shoot straight. Bye bye.